Anemia comes from a Greek word that means lack of blood. But the condition refers to not having enough healthy red blood cells, which are responsible for carrying oxygen to the body for energy. When these red blood cells are unable to do their work properly, you get tired and you feel weak. Anemia is a common condition. More than 30% of the world's population have it. And today, we'll talk about the different types, the causes, and cure. I'm Dr. Freddy Gomez. Welcome to MedTalk Health Talk. Our red blood cells are in charge of providing energy to the body. And it's a specific protein in our cells that's carrying oxygen from the lungs to the body's tissues. It's called hemoglobin. Dr. Torres, there are many circumstances that hemoglobin is problematic. Now, let's discuss that. Oh, yes. There uh, are many instances where uh, the hemoglobin can be problematic or mababa ang hemoglobin. Yun ang, ang tinatawag nating anemia. At uh, napakaraming causes niyan. At so, yan ang dapat malaman natin para magamot ng tama ng problema yan. So, a low hemoglobin level is referred to as anemia. Now, there are many different types of anemia. In fact, there are about 400 of them. The condition can also be temporary or long-term. Now, our discussion on the show today will focus on the most common types of anemia. Unahin na natin yung iron deficiency anemia. Now, still with Dr. Torres, Good. can you explain this condition, please? Uh, Gaya nga na sinabi mo, there are just so many different types of anemia, numbering over 400. But if we can simplify it by saying, in the lowang basic uh, processes that can lead to anemia would be a production problem, or destruction problem. Uh, production meaning ang katawan natin, yung factory, ang bone marrow, <clears throat> ay hindi gumagawa ng sapat na red blood cells. Destruction naman is either uh, sinisira yung blood na ginagawa or nawawala sa katawan dahil sa bleeding. Ngayon, kapag ka ang production, ang problema, uh, then doon pumapasok ang iron deficiency. Kasi ang iron ay isa sa pinakamahalagang component sa paggawa ng hemoglobin. Uh, kaya kapag kulang tayo sa iron or iron deficiency, therefore kulang ang mga materyales na kailangan para gumawa ng red blood cells. And in the, process, and in the end, uh, anemia would result. Aside from iron deficiency, there's another type of anemia that we want to discuss, and that is vitamin deficiency anemia naman. Can you tell us uh, about this, Dr. Nikki? In terms of production of red blood cells, we need these raw materials, particularly nutrients and vitamins. And these include, um, like what Dr. Torres mentioned, iron and some other vitamins, particularly folate at saka vitamin B12. If we don't have these raw materials in terms of the um, upon production of your red blood cells, the body won't produce enough healthy red blood cell, which will lead to anemia. Now, some women experience heavy menstrual bleeding that can cause anemia. Ano ang nangyayari dito at uh, ano ang pwedeng gawin? Nature is uh, ano, very smart. So yung amount of blood na nawawala during menstruation, Eh, napapalitan yan during the course of the month with proper nutrition. Kaya lang nga, kung medyo malakas ang pag-menstruate uh, ng babae, and then uh, kulang ang pag-replace ng nawawalang blood or nawawalang iron, especially sa ganyan. And so kapag uh, uh, malakas ang menstruation, dalawa ang approaches natin dyan. One is to look at why is the menstruation profuse? So that would uh, fall in the realm of the OBGYN and look at possible uh, organic or hormonal causes. And then uh, the treatment or replacement of uh, the iron that is lacking, then we can be giving iron uh, to these women. 
for Dr. Nikki, would this situation uh, be similar to someone who may have lost uh, a lot of blood, let's say, from surgery or perhaps an accident? The blood loss can actually lead to acute anemia. However, if you have chronic blood loss, which um, happens to women usually with heavy menstrual bleeding, it will lead to um, iron deficiency anemia as well as um, loss of hemoglobin itself. Now, your health is our priority on MedTalk Health Talk. When we return, the telltale signs that you have anemia and how a simple test can tell doctors that you have it. More after the break. Stay with us right here on CNN Philippines. Thank you for watching MedTalk Health Talk. The red blood cells in our body are responsible for distributing energy to the rest of the body. So if we don't have enough of these red blood cells, we get easily tired or we get weak. It's good to have you on the program today as we talk about anemia, the causes, treatment, and its symptoms. Now, certain types of people are more prone to this type of disorder. Dr. Torres, can you explain to us how are these people tested? How are these people tested to see if they have anemia? Uh, Pinaka-basic na test para malaman kung merong anemia is what we call CBC. It stands for complete blood count. And in your complete blood count, that would include determination of your hemoglobin, hematocrit, red blood cell count, and the rest of the elements of the blood, which would be your white blood cells and your platelets. But in more complete uh, laboratories, they also would uh, give you some reports uh, uh, describing the red blood cells there, which would help in diagnosing if a patient has anemia. So CBC, ang tawag, yun ang pinaka-basic na examination to diagnose uh, anemia. Now we want to go over some of the signs and symptoms of anemia. Alam naman natin, the sooner we know, the better. But sometimes naman, wala namang symptoms. And when you do have the symptoms, they vary from person to person. Dr. Torres, let's discuss the lack of symptoms first. Merong tinatawag na acute or chronic. Acute, ibig sabihin yung biglaan. At uh, yung chronic naman, matagalan bago... Uh, mag-develop ang anemia. So kapag uh, acute yung gaya ng massive bleeding, then you would definitely uh, show or experience uh, symptoms because of the uh, blood loss. Pero yung mga chronic, like in iron deficiency from uh, profuse uh, menstrual blood loss, that develops over a period of time. And so the body is able to compensate for the decreasing amount of iron and decreasing amount of hemoglobin, for which uh, the body is uh, able to compensate and therefore the person may not complain of any symptoms due to the lowering of the hemoglobin or lowering of the red blood cell count. Getting fatigued easily, meaning walking one block, is not, uh, ano, they cannot okay. tolerate that, or going one flight of stairs, Eh, kailangan silang tumigil, uh, cuts their breath. Because uh, fatigue and weakness are common symptoms, like what you said, uh, Dr. Torres, of anemia. Now, Dr. Nikki, can you tell us why this is so? Bakit napaka-common ang pangihina kapag isang tao ay anemic? For us to answer that question, we have to go back to the function of your red blood cell. So generally, your red blood cell would um, function by supplying or um, distributing oxygen um, to our cells and tissues of our body. So this oxygen would be the source of energy for our tissues and or our organs. So without enough um, oxygen or energy, we might be able to feel that um, weakness or pandalata, which really could mean that the oxygen or the energy that is being supplied by the oxygen is not enough. You were mentioning about uh, uh, shortness of breath. 
So we do want to recognize that this is also a symptom of COVID-19. Dr. Nikki, paano natin malalaman na hindi COVID-19 uh, ito? Ano? So, so we have a way to avoid unnecessary worry or unnecessary stress. So with shortness of breath kasi, shortness of breath happens with anemia because your body is trying to compensate. So since your body detects that it's not getting enough oxygen as much as possible, so it will increase the work of breathing, which will lead to increased respiratory rate and the feeling of shortness of breath. So yes, it really can happen also, the shortness of breath or dyspnea can happen in infectious causes, particularly COVID. Now, Dr. Torres, uh, I want to point out some of the other symptoms too, which are chest pain, cold hands and feet, and headaches. Bakit nangyayari kaya ito? And how can our viewers who may experience them, how can they address them? Ang katawan uh, differentially distributes the oxygen. So, binibigay niya yung oxygen sa pinaka-vital areas ng katawan, like to the heart, to the kidneys, and then uh, less uh, preference yung mga extremities, meaning the hands and feet, kaya kulang ang circulation doon. And then to the, ano naman, to the brain, again, uh, it also suffers from uh, decreased oxygenation. And so, kapag ka ganon, uh, you feel it as either headache or lightheadedness or sometimes uh, confusion uh, depending on the severity of anemia. So basic ano lang is yung level or amount of oxygen that is being circulated by the red cells. Okay, now initially, patients don't experience any of these symptoms uh, like was mentioned earlier as well. But when they do appear and get worse, so does the actual condition of the patient. Now, Dr. Torres, how do we handle this? And when do we know that it's time to see a doctor? Kapag ka nakita na sa CBC na mababa, o kaya kapag ka napapansin ng mga kasamahan mo na ikaw ay maputla, o kaya yung mga nararamdaman mong symptoms ay tumitindi, then I think you should uh, be consulting a doctor. Now, the doctor will uh, confirm whether you're anemic or not. But uh, more importantly, uh, the doctor should find out kung ano ang nakasanhi ng anemia because uh, the treatment should be directed on what is causing the anemia. The treatment depends on the specific diagnosis. The other causes uh, you, we have briefly mentioned earlier are vitamin deficiency like B12 or folic acid. Uh, this may be supplied either uh, by proper nutrition or actual uh, supplementation by taking the uh, mentioned vitamins. At ang importante din is iwasan natin ang self-medication. If you're feeling something unusual, if you're in pain or tired for no reason, please know that your body is really trying to tell you something. So call your doctor and ask questions. And as with any disease, treatment for anemia depends on the type, the cause, and the severity of the condition. We'll explain the details so we know what's the best care for you. You're watching MedTalk Health Talk right here on CNN Philippines. We'll be right back. We're together in health. Welcome back to the show. I'm Dr. Freddy Gomez. Now, treatments for anemia vary from taking supplements such as iron supplements to undergoing medical procedures. Now, Dr. Torres, we want to talk about uh, each one and how they apply from one situation to another. Could you explain that for us, please? Uh, yes. Ang, uh, sabi nga natin, replacement kung ano man yung uh, whatever nutrient or vitamin is lacking. So the more, most common we have been talking about is iron deficiency. And then how do you give uh, or how do you supplement iron? Well, the most natural would be providing it uh, in the food. 
And uh, of course, there are uh, certain types of food that would be uh, very good sources of iron. Meat, of course, including fish and poultry, would be the best source of iron. But uh, also uh, green leafy vegetables uh, are also good sources of uh, iron. You have your uh, uh, spinach, lettuce, mga beans. Uh, those are examples of uh, green leafy vegetables uh, that would be good sources for iron. Uh, now, uh, there are some uh, food uh, fadists uh, like mga strict vegetarians na nagde-develop ng vitamin deficiency, especially vitamin B12, because they do not uh, get it from their nutrition. And so ito, you definitely have to give them commercial preparation of the vitamins to uh, provide them with the lacking uh, nutrients uh, that are necessary for red blood cell production. Now, there are types of anemia that can't be prevented, such as those triggered or caused by certain diseases. But as mentioned, uh, iron deficiency anemia and vitamin deficiency anemias can be prevented, and it's about eating healthy. Now, Dr. Nikki, Dr. Torres mentioned about some of the good foods that people can take in order to prevent anemia. Would you have any other food to add here? Or can supplements be a good way in order to prevent anemia? Um, I would actually second what Dr. Torres mentioned. Um, a proper and a balanced diet would really help um, us in preventing anemia. Generally, with um, medyo na uso kasi ngayon yung plant-based or purely strictly plant-based diet, Actually, that can be a bit more prone to um, secondary vitamin deficiency anemia. So, um, better to have yourselves checked and if ever, we need to have supplements. Um, another thing that I think that it's that I think is needed to be emphasized is um, apart from um, only 10% technically of the iron in food is actually absorbed by the body. So if you have um, been diagnosed with iron deficiency anemia, chances are that your that food alone won't suffice in terms of treating your um, iron deficiency anemia. So it might be that your doctor will be will be prescribing you with supplements. So um, uh, I would just like to emphasize that you have to um, take those supplements as advised by the doctor. Very good. And with or without anemia, uh, the foods mentioned by our two guests are the types of food that are good for us in general. Again, we want to emphasize treatment for anemia depends on the type, cause, and severity of the condition. They include changes to your diet as well as supplements and medicines that will be prescribed to you by your doctor. We'd like to say thank you to our guest today, hematologist Dr. Rosalio Torres and internal medicine specialist Dr. Ana Monica Estrella. And to all of you out there, we appreciate your time. Thank you for watching MedTalk Health Talk, your connection to healthcare. I'm Dr. Freddy Gomez. Stay safe and be well.